done it. He'd made Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He wished she didn't feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. What had Zenobia gone off to do? What was more important than meeting the Rebel Council? Had he made a mistake, sending her to the ruins? No. He knew they could trust each other. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Well, she'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way to rainstorms of ravens. to be something useful in these things, didn't there? Fun to try out that one. And here was a handy workbench. As he came around the bend, there was Lupino, unconscious on the side of the path. And Renato could smell a familiar, sweet, smoky scent. Who? Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant... She had the Iblis Stone. What would it do to her? She hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The Council wouldn't mind if she killed the Emperor, but... Murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down.